Hey guys, how's it going? In this tutorial, I will show you how to create the sniper scope effect in Final Cut Express 4. For this project, you're going to need an internet connection, Final Cut Express 4, and a free optional program called Paintbrush, but I'll talk about that later. For right now, open up your web browser and go to the site called medievalhollywood.tk. This is a website that I made, and if you want to visit it, that'd be very cool. So once you're here, first thing you want to do is go to the video effects page. Click that, and there's going to be a link called Crosshairs. You want to click on that. Now, if the film that you're working with is in uh, widescreen, you want to use this one. However, if it's in uh, the standard 4x3, you want to use this one. They work the same way, so don't worry about that. For whatever uh, picture you want to use, right-click, and it's Save to Downloads. Then it'll just go to your Downloads folder. After you do that, go to your Final Cut Express, and uh, drag the image onto your third video layer. I'm going to make sure that's at the very beginning. And then, obviously, you're going to need some footage of someone getting shot. So, here's my terrible acting skills. So, we'll just use this right now. You can just delete the audio since I'm not going to use that. And you want to double click the um, video layer 3, the crosshairs. Go to effects, video filters, key, and then chroma key. Then just go to the um, visual and just use the dropper tool and just select all the green and it should just key right out so then that's how you have the basic sniper scope with the crosshairs and everything however obviously most snipers are going to move around a little bit when they're sniping so one the one thing you can do is you can put the playhead at the very beginning uh, double click this so that it's loaded into the viewer then you can uh, hit the keyframe button which is going to be this button right here and then uh, increase the size of the original clip. And then after you do that, you can uh, move the playhead a little bit more forward. So like, let's say right there, hit the keyframe button, and then move the original shot to one side or another. And what this is going to do is just going to give the illusion that the uh, sniper is actually moving when it's re really the original clip. Alright, so now that we have that done, we can move the playhead a little bit more forward until let's say right here. Keyframe button again. And then just repeat this process as many times as you would like. Let's just say to right here, I'm about to get shot, so right there. Keyframe it. And move it so that the uh, crosshairs are over the actor. Alright, now let's render this and look at it. Alright, let's look at it. Alright, it looks pretty good. However, obviously, if you have a real sniper, there's going to be a lot, uh, a lot of sounds going on with the firing. So, you can just browse the internet, and you can find uh, free, um, free sound effects for all different kinds of guns just everywhere. So, I'm not going to do any of that. You can just do it on your own. So, let's hear it now. <laughs> obviously, that's a bread and not a sniper rifle, but you get the idea. That sounded pretty good. However, also, we're going to need some blood effects to make it really look like you got shot. So one thing you can do if you want is you can go over to the site called detonationfilms.com. I'll put a link in the sidebar. And they have a lot of cool fake blood effects. What you want to do is you just want to go to the vexed, uh, effects stock page, footage or whatever, and then hit this one that says blood. And you're going to scroll down and find one that you like, and you should right click it. And hit download link file. I already downloaded one that I like, so I'm just going to drag this down into the timeline. And all of these are going to have a little ad in the very front of them. So, what you can do is you can just put the playhead to where the ad finishes, and then press B to bring out your blade tool, and then just cut the ad part out. Once that's done, you can double click it, go into the effects, video filters, key, and then hit the second limit key. And this is going to uh, this is going to key out all the white. So now that's that done, we can uh, drag it over to where we got shot. And obviously, we're also going to need to drag it over to where our body is or where the actor is so that it looks more actually like he got shot, not just some random blood flying off of the, <laughs> flying off of the corner of the screen. 
Alright, well, let's bring this down a little bit in size. Let's also then look. Alright, obviously we need to drag it over this way more. Alright, that seems pretty good. Let's run to this and look at it. Alright, let's see. It looks pretty good. I like it. Alright, now, as I mentioned earlier about the uh, paintbrush application that you can download, I'll put a link in the sidebar for it. And it's a uh, free program that you can download from Apple.com. And what this is going to allow you to do is just allow you to create a more high quality um, crosshairs effect. Because since you're just getting the image from a website, obviously the quality is going to be a little bit lower than it would be if you had just made it. So if you're really quality picky, I recommend doing that. It's going to give you a lot better effect. However, if you do want to use one online, it should work totally fine. Well, that's all. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. I'll be more than happy to answer them. And please subscribe, and thank you for watching.